Hey guys, I'm Roger Dodger Gaming, and I'm your coach for the Las Vegas Corbin Knights. Uh, we are here for a week six matchup. We are currently three and two, and are looking to pick up our fourth win. Uh, let's get into my opponent's team. So he has a Savali, which has the ability to change its type depending on what plate it's equipped. Uh, so that could be pretty problematic. It gets access to moves like Parting Shot. Um, Sword stance and a special move that uh, it changes de depending on what type he is. Uh, his Volcarona is definitely coming. Uh, can be a big threat with its Quiver Dance uh, move and uh, allowing it to raise its speed, special attack, and special defense by one stage, uh, which is just really threatening. Uh, he has a Bisharp, which can have access to the Defiant ability. So if we lower any of his attack or, or stats, um, his attack will go up by two stages, making it very threatening. And access to moves with priority, su such as Sucker Punch, can be a big uh, deal. Uh, he has a Whimsicott, which has the Prankster ability, is what I'm anticipating him to bring. With moves like Tailwind, uh, Moonblast, and uh, Giga Drain for some recovery, it can be a big threat. He has a shuckle known for its set, um, setting up hazards. It gets access to sticky webs, which will low, slow our team down. And uh, Stealth Rock, other than that, it has pretty good defensive stats with, I believe, 250 in both physical and special defense. Uh, he has a Drapion. I'm not really anticipating him bringing that. as uh, it's not, I don't think it's that great against my team. Uh, I do anticipate him bringing his Runarigus as that can be very uh, threatening against my team. It's very good defensively, and uh, I, I don't really anticipate him bringing his Galarian Slowbro, as I have kind of ways to, of dealing with it, and I, I don't think it's the best matchup. Uh, he has his Mantine. I do anticipate him bringing that. It's a very bulky water type, and gets access to Roost, which uh, allows it to recover. Health, unfortunately, it has that four times weakness to electric, so we're going to try to take advantage of that. And he has, his as his final one, uh, Arctazolt, which I really don't anticipate him bringing. It's a electric ice type, and I, I just don't think it's that great uh, for this week. So this is my team. Uh, let's talk about what I didn't bring. I didn't bring my Hatterene this week. Uh, I just didn't think it had a great matchup, especially with that uh, Drapion. In case he brought it, I, I didn't want to take a chance, and uh, it's very good against my Hatterene. I did not bring my Vanillux, as his Bisharp uh, potentially had a good matchup against it as well. Uh, I did not bring my Skuntank again because of the uh, Bisharp. I just didn't think it was great against it, and I did not bring my uh, Cursula again because of the Bisharp. I, uh, I was very worried about that Mon. And I didn't think uh, the Mons I didn't bring had great matchups. So yeah, let's get into uh, my first Pokemon. Alright, so we have Terrakion, the uh, Rocky the Terrakion, rocking his Life Orb. Uh, Rock Slide, Poison Jab, Close Combat, and Earthquake. Earthquake does great. A close Combat is there for the Bisharp it can, and uh, Drapion. It can be very good against this team. Uh, poison Jab is there for the um, Whimsicott, in case I have to stay in on it. Uh, I don't take a Moonblast, but on the off chance, at least I have something to hit it. If I predict it's coming in uh, to try to take a Close Combat uh, or something like that, I can just go for the Poison Jab and do a tremendous amount to it. Uh, this is primarily designed to help with the Bisharp. Uh, it outspeeds it 100% of the time and can take like a dark type move, which will raise our attack uh, by a stage with our justified ability, and it can allow us to potentially sweep his team, depending on uh, what he is. Alright, so our second mon is Gudra, rocking his Assault Vest. This is a very bulky Gudra. Uh, with the Assault Vest, we can take hits from Whimsicott, no problem. We can take uh, we can do tremendous amount of damage to his mons. Uh, Thunderbolt is there for the Mantine. It just absolutely destroys that thing. 
Uh, Sludge Wave absolutely destroys his Whimsicott, which uh, if he wants to switch in thinking, oh, I will do it, I'll, I'll be able to kill him with a Moonblast. He won't, and we can do a tremendous amount of damage with our uh, Sludge Wave. And Draco Meteor, just for overall, great uh, stab. And yeah, Flamethrower is there for the Bisharp. We can do tremendous amount of damage to it with the Flamethrower. And Gooey can come in the clutch, uh, lowering our opponent's speed if uh by a stage if it makes physical contact with us uh we have our dermanichan which is choice scarfed uh again flare blitz earthquake uh stone edge this week and u-turn stone edge uh is there for the volcarona it does a tremendous amount uh potentially and also flare blitz can do a tremendous amount uh depending on what set uh that volcarona can be a problem so our choice scarf is there to outspeed it uh, and we guarantee one shot it with a flare bits, which is great. Uh, and I can potentially also go for Stone Edge, but I think Flare Blitz is probably going to be my play just because it's uh, more accurate. And yeah, uh, Gastrodon is our going to be our defensive mon this week, rocking the Storm Drain. This set is kind of designed to one v one the Mantine. Uh, I can Toxic Kick. And it as well, uh, and be able to recover whatever damage it wants. The storm Drain prevents it from going for any water moves. Uh, I can't really touch it other than Toxic, but it can't really touch me either. So that's kind of the thought of having Toxic there to try to really uh, do that. Overall, this is just a great very, uh, defensive mod and can put in a lot of work. We have uh, Jolteon, Rocking its Choice Specs. Uh, this is going to be a very good mod. Uh, this week, I have Shadow Ball for the Rune Regis. Uh, we can do a tremendous amount of damage to it. If uh, it thinks we're going to go for a Thunderbolt, we can go for Shadow Ball and just chunk it for a ton. And we'll be able to outspeed it. Uh, Hyper Voice is good uh, in case he has any like setup potential. With subs, we go through that. And it's also just great overall coverage to hit his team. Unfortunately, if we are locked into Hyper Voice, it will not affect the Rune Regis, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is just a great hard-hitting mod. And uh, this is our Corviknight. This is mainly for the Shuckle, uh, in case he sets up Sticky Webs. They can be a problem for our team, uh, especially with our Terrakian. We want to outspeed that Bisharp. So... Defog gets rid of that. Brave Bird can do a tremendous amount of damage to uh, Volcarona, depending on if that where that mon is. And uh, Iron Head can do a tremendous amount of damage overall. It's just very good coverage. And we will uh, get into the battle now. Let's get started. All right, so my opponent brought a team that I was pretty much expecting. Shuckle is there. I'm going to leave my Corviknight on Casey lead Shuckle. Uh, to be able to get up some uh, sticky webs on his part so I can defog them right away in case they're a problem. I'm going to just go straight for the Iron Head. I anticipate him going for uh, sticky webs. I was not aware he would have the red card. I didn't really anticipate it having that. So that switches us out into our Dermanitan. Um, I'm going to just go right back into my Corviknight to defog these uh, webs. I want to keep my Dermanitan healthy for that Volcarona which uh, can be a threat, and uh, he's going to go in his Rune Regis, which is interesting. I guess, oh, he, I guess he was anticipating me to do, uh, go for Flare Blitz. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for the Defog that's going to activate my opponent's Defiant, which uh, is not great, but, uh, so he'll probably be able to knock my Corviknight out, which he does, so he goes for the knockoff. I'm going to just go straight into my Terrakion here. As Terrakion is, uh, if he wants to go for like a f f um, dark type move, I can do a tremendous amount and I outspeed this thing without webs and I can go for a close combat. And uh, yeah, so he goes into his Rune Regis to take the close combat. That was a very good play because it will do nothing to him. Uh, I can just go into my Gastrodon here and be able to take whatever he wants to go for and I can fire off a Scald, which is good. Um, He's going to go for a body press, which is okay. It doesn't do too much. Uh, I'm going to just go for the Scald here, hit this thing hard, 
Uh, if he wants to switch, he'll probably switch into his Mantine. He does switch into his Mantine. Uh, now I will go for the Toxic, put this thing on a timer, as it can be problematic for my team. Um, alternatively, I could potentially go Jolteon, but I think I'm going to just go for the Toxic, as uh, he can't really do too much to me. Uh, and I can... Yeah, he just goes for a Toxic on me, which is okay. Uh, I'm going to just go for the Toxic on him. So we're both on a timer here. That kind of sucks that uh, Gary is on a timer. But I should be able to potentially uh, switch around and make some plays. Um, he switches into Shuckle. I'm going to switch in to my uh, other mod. Actually, on the next turn, I'm planning on switching. As Actually, I think I'll stay in. Because I can just scald this thing, and uh, if he gets up webs, unfortunately I don't have Corviknight, so I want to make sure I get this thing gone. I do snag a burn, which is great, uh, allowing me to potentially two-shot it, or I can fire one more scald, and uh, with the burn I believe I'll get the kill. And he can set up uh, sticky webs again, which sucks, but I can potentially, I'll just have to work around him, I don't really have a choice. Uh, he can go for... Whatever, he's going to go for Stealth Rocks as well, uh, which is alright. And he will die to burn. And I'm going to have to switch out on this turn as the Toxic damage is getting pretty high. So I'm probably going to go into... Let's see what he goes for. Yeah, either Jolteon or Gudra. I think Gudra is a good play here. Because I can take a Moonblast and I can hit him with a Sludge Wave, which will do a tremendous amount of damage to him. Uh, I He can go for maybe a Tailwind. He goes for Substitute, so that's not a big deal. I can easily break his sub with the Sludge Wave and uh, live any hit he wants to go for. If he wants to go for a Moonblast or something along those lines, that's not going to... He goes for the Leech Seed and misses. That's great for us, as uh, he won't be able to get any recovery back. And I can go for the Sludge Wave that crit obviously didn't matter. And uh, I can continue to go for Sludge Wave. And I'm pretty sure I kill him if he goes for the whatever he wants to go for. He goes into his Mantine. That's not a big deal. I have uh, He's going to take his Sludge Wave and I have Thunderbolt that will be able to do a tremendous amount of damage to him. And I can take any hit he wants to go for. If he wants to go for a Toxic, that sucks. Because it's going to be putting my Spyro on a timer. But uh, I'll be able to kill this thing in return. So I think that's probably a worthy trade uh, in the long run. So yeah, Mantan's dead. Uh, I'll be interested to see what he goes into on this. Um, potentially... I don't know. Probably his Whimsicott. If I had to guess. Yeah, he goes back in his Whimsicott. I'm going to just go for the Sludge Wave again. Uh, if he wants to go for the sub, we'll break it. And, yeah. So, I'm going to switch to Jolteon. Um, this turn or the next turn, depending on filling out what he wants to go for. Because uh, I don't want this Toxic Damage to do too much. And I will be able to hit him through the... Um, sub with a hyper voice and do a tremendous amount of damage to him so he's gonna go for the sub uh we should be able to kill with a hyper voice here uh with our specs hyper voice we should easily be able to kill this thing and through the sub uh he goes for the moon blast and lags the special attack drop which uh ensures that we won't kill him with a hyper voice which really sucks uh he he'll probably Stay in, and I'll just be able to get this kill. He may switch into his Runarigus uh, on the off chance. He does switch to his Runarigus. Uh, I can just go Gastrodon again here and allow um, him to get a head off, depending on what he wants to go for. Uh, yeah, Gastrodon seems like a good play. Uh, the speed drop doesn't really affect me too much, and I can just go for a Scald here. He's going to go for the Iron Defense. Uh, he's Iron Defense Body Press then. Uh, I, that's not a big deal. I should be able to live one. And I can do about 50, I think, percent-ish with a Scald. Yeah, I do live it. I unfortunately will die to Toxic next turn, or this turn. Uh, I am able to do 55% with a Scald, so that's great. 
uh, I can go right into my Jolteon here and fire off a Shadow Ball, which should do a ton. And if he wants to switch, uh, it covers kind of my bases. I should be able to do a tremendous amount of damage to pretty much anything he wants to go for um, with a Shadow Ball. And I can always switch, depending on... I still have Gudra in the back, which is very good against this team. Uh, he's going to just stand, so I'm going to kill him with um, Flash. And... Let's see what he wants to go for. Um, I am getting weaker, in, so I have to be careful of Volcarona. He does go Volcarona. I'm going to go straight into my Darm on the Quiver Dance here, and I can Flare Blitz on the following turn. So, yeah. Alright, so this is very threatening, but I should be able to kill it uh, with a... Unfortunately, because of the speed drop, I'm slower. So I live and should be able to kill it with a flare blitz, no problem, which I do. So that's great. Um, I can go. I think my best play is I'm gonna go Jolteon, uh, potentially on whatever he wants to go for. If he wants to go his Bisharp or his Whimsicott, if he goes Whimsicott. I should, um, actually because of Stealth Rocks, I don't think I'll live. But I'm going to sack my Jolteon here, which I think was a misplay. I probably should have went Gudra uh, in the long run and kept my Jolteon in the back. But I'm going to go Gudra now just because it's uh, probably my best play against this thing. I have enough. I can. He still cannot sub on me, and I can just go for a, a Sludge Wave and kill this thing. Actually, I'm going to go for a Flamethrower in case he switches to his Bisharp, anticipating the Poison type move. He just goes for the Moon Blast. That's not a big deal. Uh, so I'm going to kill this thing with a flamethrower, which is great. And I'm going to stay in on the Bisharp. Uh, my best play is to let him kill me here. On the uh, And Bisharp's very physical. So let him kill me, get the gooey, and then I should be able to outspeed him with my Terrakion and pick up the kill. Yeah, he goes for the knockoff, killing me, which is great. My gooey does activate. Dropping his speed, uh, he gets plus two attack, but he should not be able to kill my Terrakion with any move he goes for. Uh, like if he goes for a Sucker Punch, I live that, and I uh, will get the Justified ability, uh, which doesn't really matter, but I will get it, and I should be able to outspeed him now and kill him with a close combat. Sweet. So that is a win for us, uh, one zero. So we are now four and two which is great. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.